Let's get to the next game at 1 o'clock. Time to bang on the Bears here. 255-256. Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers survived last week against Cincinnati on the road. Now they're going to go on the road again to a team that they usually handle relatively easy with the Chicago Bears. This line's starting to get away from us now at 5.5 primarily mm-hmm. across the board. Why? Because yet another running back down. You're down to a third-string running back in Chicago, and quite frankly, you have basically what equivalents to a third-string running back also playing quarterback. Now, not to say Justin Fields won't be a good quarterback in the NFL. I think he will. Matt Nagy, that entire ownership needs to leave town and let him get somebody that's going to be able to groom him and put weapons around it. The Chicago Bears, you want to go on like Ripley's Believe It or Not, and I'm dating myself right now with that, if anybody's ever seen that show, where they show stuff that makes no sense. Look at the Bears' box score last week and tell me how they won by double digits against the Vegas Raiders. This team is, and I, I used this, you know, a couple times this week. The Bears' offense is like Navy, Army, and Navy in college football. Atrocious throwing the football. The only prayer they have is to run it. Now they have no running backs. So what am I led to believe here that I'm going to take one of the best quarterbacks to ever play the game in Aaron Rodgers versus a Justin Fields start? Where if you take a look at his four games that he's played, you know, a good amount of football started in a couple of them, but even in that game against Cincinnati, what did he get, Kyle? Maybe a half of a football in that one. Do you know he's averaging 94 yards passing a game? Yeah, that's not a mistake. <laughs> 94 yards passing a game for Justin Fields. So you're going to line up against Green Bay and throw for 100 yards? You're going to get beat. Now, do I expect this game to be a runaway, Kyle? 31-13 Green Bay? Not necessarily. But there's no way in hell the Bears will ever get my money being a team that throws for 100 yards or less. Green Bay or nobody for me here. Yeah, Green Bay or nobody, and this game scares the absolute hell out of me. It really does, because trusting the Packers to cover on the road is a scary, tough one. scary right. proposition. It really is. And, I mean, we've seen them against bad teams. Not, I mean, the Saints, I think the Saints are a bad team now. They're not very good. They got absolutely destroyed. They go on the road against a Bengals team that they should have beaten by 30 points. Of course, Mason no, Crosby— no. Of course, Mason Crosby leaves 4,000 points on the field, and, you know, it's just a pathetic display of kicking. Thank you so much, Mason Crosby. And they still, it's a push. They only win by three. Yeah. Oh, God, I mean, there's no way I'm betting on the Bears with the, the way this offense. I mean, when you rewatch that game, it's just painful to watch. And you're right. You're like, how in the hell did this happen? I think a lot of that might be might be due. There was a lot more going on in that locker room than we uh, actually knew was going on. And maybe there was a little bit of distractions there. You I'm know, you know, in the chat part- box. I'm going to get after in a second. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, you're part of the uh, John Gruden PR team. So, you know, everything that was going on, you have some inside stuff there. I don't, obviously I stayed away from that, but uh, it's Packers or bust. You can't trust the bears right now, but it does have a little bit of a trap feel to it. So I'm a little bit nervous about it. I was thinking about putting this as part of my pick six, and it still might make it. But Green Bay, if I'm betting this game, I'm not doing a full unit on it because I just don't trust Green Bay enough on the road as bad as the Bears actually are. You know what I have in this game, Kyle? The pick six contest. I have the under 44 and a half in this there one. There you go. I, I, see that, yeah, I just don't see a lot of scoring. Jimmy Legg says, hey, it's Rodgers, Jones, and Adams. That's it. Yeah. You know, all pro quarterback, Hall of Famer, all pro wide receiver, probably Hall of Famer. And Jones is a good running back. That's way more than the Bears have. (laughs) Like, it's not so much that we're hating on the Bears per se. It's just that when you just think it out and just take everything out of the equation, right? Forget about the Bears record. And I tell you straight up, you're going to have a quarterback that's not ready to be a quarterback. He has no weapons to throw to. And he's going to play against a competent offense. I can't any way, shape, or form, unless you're just a contrarian that says, like, I'm just going to bet against it. The Bears are horrendous, but I'm still going to take them, and that's your angle in this game? Well, then that's your angle in the game. I just can't take a football team that can't throw the football forward. They don't have exactly. a forward pass. I can't take them here. It's that simple. Yeah, and no Damian Williams now, so it's that young kid, Herbert, yeah. who, when you watch it, he, he kind of stood out a little bit when he came in. I was like, hey, this kid's not all that bad when he was running. You know, those two running backs were in, and the ineptitude of Derek Carr. Or uh, why they, uh, you know, won that game. But Herbert doesn't look terrible. And we all know the Packers struggle against the run. It is the best way to beat them. That secondary is very, very beat up for the Packers. But my God, is how is Justin Fields going to take advantage of it? They just don't seem to have any sort of competent game plan in place. They look lost mm-hmm. offensively. Uh, it is Packers or bust, but it does make me nervous. That's for sure. It, it does. It's a, It looks too good to be true. It's almost like last week the Packers say, why are they only favored by three? Well, they ended up winning by three points, and it mm-hmm. took overtime and missed field goals, and it was a lot of fun, which cost me you know, a little bit of money there that we weren't able to make a field goal late for the Cincinnati Bengals. But that seems to hear nor there. It's just as simple for me. I don't want to overcomplicate games. I got Aaron Rodgers. You got Justin Fields. I'll take Aaron Rodgers. Simple as yeah. that.